Do we have something sacred? Something that no matter what we're going to hold on to and it's consecrated and it's separated for good and no one can tear that down or no one can tear us away from that. Better man, choosing something sacred, something with purpose, something that you can aspire to hold on to and to uphold and to leave as a legacy. This is the Better Man channel where our mission is to see men produce the qualities of upheld society to produce and embody the characteristics that great men before us have imposed upon culture upon tribe upon men we as a society and specifically me on an individual level have lost sacredness We've lost those rites of passage that transition boy into men. We've lost the ideal of standing for something noble, for standing for something true. At work the other day, I was talking to an older gentleman, and he he's a very hard worker. Very He uh, goes above and beyond. And he was talking about young men today, and he said they just, they've lost that work ethic. And, Maybe they'll do it for a little while, but then they fold and, and, and they go a different route. They're, they're not persevering, they're not enduring, and, and they know, have no lasting strength. And he says, I don't know what is going to happen when, when my generation retwi- retires and goes their own way. And, and I thought and I agreed. I said, yes, from, from my experience, a lot of, of young men have have lost their way. And I believe it's because we've pushed to the sides, pushed to the boundaries of our existence, sacredness. In a society where it's all inclusive and we want everyone to get along and no one's purpose or or no one's philosophy is greater than anyone else's, we lose meaning. We lose our sacredness and the ability to grab a hold of something that means more than mediocrity. And, and that's that word, mediocrity, to be mediocre. That's something that's, that's really been on my mind of late is look around you. Everybody's just getting by. They're just keeping up with the next person. And they're losing that edge that gives them superior qualities, that edge that helps them stand out. And I believe a key component in fueling your life, your motivation, your ambitions is holding on to something that's that's bigger than you. That's the dynamics of progressing forward is having something that pushes you forward. That sacred honor that says, I am man, built to be strong, built to endure, built to create, built to conquer. And thank God we don't live in a world where we have to battle for our lives each and every day. And there's going to be bloodshed. But we can begin to battle ourselves. Battle ourselves from yesterday. Am I being better? Am I upholding some higher good? Am, Am I leaving a legacy for those that come behind me? Am I doing something to become a better person? What is that sacred meaning that gives me purpose, that gives me direction? And I think many times when we use the word sacred, we think of religion or what have you, but just a higher good. To me, that's what God is, the highest good, the highest truth. Do we have something sacred, something that no matter what we're going to hold on to and it's consecrated and it's separated for good and no one can tear that down or no one can tear us away from that because our grip is, is clenched to that sacredness, that purpose, that meaning. This is what I stand for. This is my convictions. And as men, if we want to become better men and we want to become the men that excel and we want to become men that are set apart from the rest of the herd, we've got to have something sacred, some meaningful purpose, some direction that not only wakes us up, but keeps us up at night thinking, am I holding true to my values? Am I holding true to my course? Can I become better? 
is there some issues that I need to work on to that will help me maintain and align the sacredness that I believe in that is my life, that is the very breath that keeps me going. We've got to find something bigger than us. That's the meaning and the point of life. Whatever it may be, hold on to it. Let it be your compass that guides you in your thoughts and your actions and your standards and your characteristics. Find something sacred in your life that's going to guide you. Stand fast in that. Be unwavering and become the man that you know you're fully capable of becoming. I love you guys. You'll hear from me next episode.